The Cape Henlopen Lighthouse was a popular subject for Delmarva Peninsula painters of the 20th century. Ethel Pennywell Brown Leach was no exception to this. She was a Delaware native and brought her love of her home state into her artwork. The lighthouse at Cape Henlopen was a structure that she painted many times over. It was built in the 1760s by the British government and stood 126 feet high. As a working lighthouse, it provided a beacon for the dunes of the Delaware Bay north of Rehoboth Beach. Eventually, weather damage caused the building to topple into the ocean in 1926. The falling of the lighthouse shook many people in the local area who had admired it for years. As a tribute to their admiration, many Rehoboth Beach natives collected pieces of the lighthouse to incorporate into their own homes. Leach herself donated the door of the lighthouse to the Zwanendale Museum in Lewis, Delaware. In far view, Leach chose a perspective that makes the lighthouse look tiny in a painting made up of mostly sand and water. Even so, the lighthouse still stands out as the highest vertical point in the piece. Motion is brought into the painting with the addition of rough waves and blowing beach grass. The purple in the overcast sky is mirrored in the sand, bringing cohesion to the overall look. This painting hangs in a gallery space the Biggs Museum created to celebrate the American art colonies, which includes Delaware's two most notable colonies of Arden and Rehoboth Beach. Leach was active as an artist in the Rehoboth Beach Artist Colony in her later years. The Biggs' preservation of the history of these colonies adds to the narrative of Delaware's artistic legacy and contextualizes the creation of this cherished scene in Cape Henlopen. <laughs>